stuff has been falling for a couple of hours. I, I say stuff because that kind of encompasses everything that's been falling in Rhode Island uh, over the last couple of hours. I mean, we had a little bit of snow, but we made yeah. a really quick changeover, which held the amounts of snowfall down to less than an inch for the area, at least most of the area. And now you can see the effects of the freezing rain and sleet on our North Situate camera. It's completely iced over, and you're going to find that on any untreated surfaces, be it power lines, on trees, on sidewalks, and driveways, your car, your front steps. They're all going to be very slippery this morning. And the same goes not just in the northern part of Rhode Island, but all the way down to the coastline, too. This is some heavy rain and sleet that's falling with temperatures that are still in Newport below freezing. It's 30 degrees out, 28 in Providence with freezing rain falling. Icy in New Bedford at 29 and 32 degrees now in Westerly. Gradually going to see those temperatures at the coastline approaching the freezing mark and beyond, and then it'll uh, work its way northward to that warming will. And so we will in the afternoon see those icy conditions easing up a little bit, but the next several hours going to be, remain very slick. We're still seeing snow into Boston, Plymouth as well, Norwood, and Rentham and Attleboro, even Smithfield, Rhode Island, still reporting mostly snowfall, but it's freezing rain almost the entire rest of the area, including all across Connecticut. New York City with some rain and freezing rain around the city, and we've got snow up across northern and central New England, so it's going to be slow going for travel all across southern New England during the daytime today. Our threat tracker elevated because of that. Now tonight, we'll see rain showers tapering off to perhaps a light snow shower for a few of us. We'll watch as temperatures get back down to near and below freezing, so some icy spots possible to start off your Wednesday. The main reason I have Wednesday's threat tracker elevated is, is the risk of a snow squall in the later afternoon and early evening. Now it's dry most of the day. As the front comes through, we'll see a snow squall that could deliver some briefly reduced visibility along with some gusty winds and a quick quarter or half an inch of snowfall possible. So that's for tomorrow. The big issue today is ice accumulation. Most of us with just a glaze of ice, but where we stay with the below freezing temperatures longest over western and northern Rhode Island and Connecticut could get up to a quarter of an inch of ice accumulation and that's enough to cause those power lines and trees to start to sag and possibly even break. There's not a lot of wind with this system, but that ice accumulation could spell some trouble. Again, not widespread, but something we'll have to watch this morning. This is 10 o'clock, upper 20s to lower 30s as we head into the end of the morning and gradually seeing those temperatures again south and east of Providence warming up above freezing. So the green is your rainfall. The pink is still the sleet and freezing rain. And that will continue late into the afternoon, north and west of 295. It's slippery travel there. Providence during the evening commute be up above freezing, just a few degrees so, but we do expect some easier travel for the evening commute. Most of these showers again winding down later in the evening and night, but ending as a couple of flurries or snow showers at the tail end of it. Here's a wider look at the system that we're tracking, an area of low pressure and moving towards the mid-Atlantic coastline today. That low as it passes to our south will be in a path close enough to us that enough warm air comes in that we change over to that rain. Uh, midnight tonight, that system starts to pull away. And then in its wake, as the skies clear tomorrow morning for most, notice still some leftover clouds and snow showers over the outer cape, we're going to be turning our attention to what's happening to the west of us. This is a cold front coming through as that Arctic front sweeps across the area, delivering a few squalls of snow showers that will race across here during potentially the evening commute time. While they're short lived, they could have a significant impact if that materializes. In the seven day forecast, we get through a couple of busy weather days and the big story for the end of the week is that bitter cold air for Thursday, high temperatures low to mid 20s, wind chills below zero in the morning hours, very cold start Friday and Saturday mornings. But then after that, the temperatures start to moderate some and it's looking like a pretty nice weekend looking dry, just some extra clouds around on Sunday. We'll be keeping you updated on the forecast throughout the day today on the Pinpoint Weather 12 app. TJ's in it's a team effort here in the Pinpoint Weather Center and great to have him here. Melissa has been tracking the conditions on the